Being a Medal of Honor recipient is a beautiful burden, but one I am honored to carry. What's up YouTube, Gen Dead Commando here, and today we're going to be doing a reaction video to the youngest living Medal of Honor recipient. Um, yeah, I've been recommended this video and I've, I've been told it can be quite an emotional one, so um, yeah, we'll see what, what it brings I guess guys, but before we get into that, we're going to start with the usual admin points. Um, please join the Discord group, the link is in the description. Make sure you smash the like button as well. Um, just to help me out a bit and make sure you subscribe to the to the channel as well guys i really do appreciate all of your support the support over the past few days has been overwhelming actually so thank you everyone honestly i really do appreciate each and every one of you guys and we'll just get straight into the video troops i hope you enjoy I joined the Marine Corps because I wanted to uh, devote my life, uh, my body, if need be, to something greater than myself or any one individual. In 2010, I deployed with 2nd Battalion, 9th Marines to Marja, Afghanistan. We were constantly attacked, just like we were every single day for the entire deployment. The fighting was very intense, and it wasn't a matter of, okay, is it gonna happen, but just a matter of when. So I've, I've heard of this guy before. I think I've seen a video of him um, on a podcast a few, few weeks ago. Um, he's got a real pleasant, pleasant mannerism about him guys he's such a such a nice guy from the short clips that I've seen before and you can tell in his voice that he's a real humble guy a real down-to-earth marine he's a quite a likable person myself and an amazing uh, friend and fellow marine Lance Corporal Nick Euphrasio we were on top of that roof together. We were near the end of our four hour post position on top of the roof when the enemy initiated a daylight attack with hand grenades. I felt like I got hit really hard in the face my vision was as if I was looking at a TV with no connection. It was just white and gray static. I thought about my family and how devastated they were going to be, especially my mother, that I didn't make it home from Afghanistan. And uh, I closed my eyes and I faded out of consciousness for what I thought was gonna be my last time on this earth. Five weeks later, he woke up in Washington, D.C. He was out Walter Reed for three years. Jesus. My injuries were so severe that still nine years later, it's hard to comprehend that I survived. I would encourage future generations. Not everyone has the freedoms and the peace uh, and the chance and hope for democracy that we have here. Don't go through every day just thinking that we're just here because we're here. You know, we got here because of um, incredible amounts of courage and sacrifice. I'm getting emotional watching this one, troops. It's, um, yeah, it's hitting me this. 
The medal represents all who have raised their right hand and sworn to give their life, if called upon, for their country. It represents those who have never made it home to receive the thanks and recognition they deserve. Those who charged the beaches in World War II, froze while fighting in Korea, bled out across the lush fields of Vietnam, and those who never made it home because of another deadly blast in the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan. Those who were tortured for years in prisoner of war camps, and those who still rest in distant lands, forever remaining, missing in action. The medal represents the parents, husbands, wives, and loved ones who have heard the dreaded knock on their front doors to find a telegram or service member delivering the unbearable news. This is where the true weight of the medal is carried. Being a Medal of Honor recipient is a beautiful burden, but one I am honored to carry. Well, uh, that got me, that one. Yeah, that, that got me a bit, guys. What a, what a nice man he is, eh? <sighs> the guy got blown up in Afghanistan and um, speaking so humbly and pure from the heart. He's, he's quite a gracious man, you know? It's um, it's a strange strange thing to listen to a fellow Marine, albeit he's from the United States, talking as as um, as pleasantly as he is about you know the fact that he's he went through a traumatic time and, and got a Medal of Honor for it. And he talks so humbly about it. It's absolutely it's humbling to hear. Um, it got me halfway through, guys. That got me really emotional. Actually, I wasn't expecting to to get emotional watching that. I think it was the music playing in the background, but. We're a, we're a nice man, hey. <laughs> I wish I had his contact details to tell him. I want to be able to. Wanna, I, wanna, I wouldn't mind speaking to this guy if if you if he ever gets to see this, dude. I think you're an amazing guy, and absolutely worthy of the Medal of Honor. From Royal Marines Commando to a U.S. Marine, credit to you, brother. You we're, we're a nice man. We're a nice man you are. That's inspirational, man. To, to call the Medal of Honor a beautiful burden, that's one of the, uh, what, what a nice way to look at it. I've got, I've got nothing else to say really, troops, what a wonderful video. Yeah, I, I've got nothing else to say, I'm, I'm, I've got nothing else to say guys. I, I hope, hope you enjoyed that, I hope you got something from that video, I've, I've gotten a lot from it, that's moved me um, emotionally, that, that's, it's almost made my day, yeah. I'll see you in the next one, troops.